Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and this is another tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this example, I'm going to be showing you uh, something we did in the previous tutorial. We exploded data. So we took data uh, from this file just here, names.txt, that was comma delimited. So we had commas in the middle of each piece of data. And we um, read it in and took away the commas and displayed it line by line, uh, rendering it basically so we can do anything with each name. Now, suppose I have an array like this one, and I've got three names in my array. And I want to add commas in between um, this data. So as it stands, it's in array format. We um, can access uh, each element of the array by saying um, names array and putting in the uh, key of the array. So here, what would happen was we'd, rip, we'd uh, output Alex. Now, I'm going to do completely what I did with uh, completely opposite to what I did with the explode, and I'm going to use implode. So I'm going to create a string, and I'm going to call this uh, variable string, and I'm going to say implode and give it the same um, comma that I did before, and in fact, a space. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it the value names array. Now what we've actually done here straight away is we've we've taken away the array. We've taken away the array and we've created a string. So now if I just echo out string, you can see that um, we've created um, a string from this. So if I was reading in that data with the commas, and I wanted to then say maybe output some updated data, I need some way of taking that array, putting commas back into it, so I can pop it back into the file. So now what we can do is, after this, uh, do our usual file open business, uh, just down here, open up the file, write to the file, um, or append to the file, so we can we can you, you can use the previous tutorials to achieve this. So it's simply achieved by the implode, and obviously you're not limited to what you can put in here. You could implode using let's say hyphens. So if we come down here, uh, we'll get rid of this, and we could echo out string, for example. Now, if I was to refresh, you can see that hyphens have been put in between the data. So this isn't just used for file handling. It can be used for a variety of different uses. If you're trying to get an array and you want to create some string data out of that, and you want to use a little delimiter in here, um, such as a comma or a forward slash maybe, even tabs or spaces, you can pop them in there and that will implode that for you. So if you think about exploding and imploding, it's the complete opposite.